conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, is appealing a US court to unseal Prince Harry's immigration records in the hope that he may get kicked out of the country as a result. I'm now joined to discuss this by author and cultural commentator Bonnie Greer, always so good on US issues, and Prince Harry. Former head of royal protection, Di Davis, also joining us. Di, will be out to you shortly, but first, let's head over to Niall Gardner, whose organization is the one, the Heritage Foundation, appealing to unseal Prince Harry's immigration records. Niall, let's just start simply. What's your motivation for doing this? Well, thanks for having me on the show today. And uh, basically, we are calling for accountability and transparency on the part of the, uh, the Biden administration. We believe there is a clear public interest in the release of Prince Harry's immigration records, especially uh, in light of the extensive revelations of illegal drug use uh, in spare. Uh, and we want to ensure, of course, that Prince Harry was honest and fully transparent in his immigration application to the United States. Uh, we also want to ensure that there was no preferential treatment uh, given uh, towards uh, Prince Harry. Everyone should be treated equally by, by the law. And the Heritage Foundation believes strongly in the robust application of immigration law. We have been uh, the leading voice, I'd say, in the United States for many decades in support of strong uh, application of US immigration laws. Uh, and we are of the view that Prince Harry should not be in any way treated uh, differently to anybody else applying to the United States. Mm, so now I'm, I'm getting the... that he's a member of the royal family. You seem to think that he got preferential treatment by the Biden administration, um, and that there might be some evidence in these unsealed documents that, that prove that. But I just, I'm interested in your motivations as a British person over in the US doing this to another Brit. Well, British person, I, but I have US uh, citizenship mm. uh, as well. Uh, and uh, you know, my my motivation here is to ensure that immigration laws applied by US authorities. That that's the motivation here. Prince Harry, of course, has become a huge public figure in the United States. Uh, he is a, a big figure on both sides of the Atlantic. He's a household name uh, in America. There is intense public interest, actually, in this uh, upcoming uh, court hearing. Uh, and opinion polls have shown, produced by Newsweek, for example, that a majority of Americans want to see the release of Prince Harry's immigration record. So this has been very closely followed by millions of Americans. Uh, and uh, it's our view that no one should be should be uh, treated uh, in, in a preferential uh, way here. The well, law should be applied equally to everybody, regardless of celebrity status or or membership of the royal family. Mm. Uh, and Prince Harry should be treated no different, especially in light of the extensive drug use revelations that he made himself in no, spare. No doubt there are extensive drug use revelations. Uh, let's speak to another American citizen here in the studio in London. And, and, and also a British, a British citizen, British citizen, citizen well. And, and yes. everything else in between. And of course, yes. you don't speak on behalf of all Americans. No. You have your own views. But what's your reaction to Niall? Well, it's very fascinating to hear Niall actually describe a proxy war between the Heritage Foundation in the Biden administration with poor old Harry as the hostage. It's going to be really, really interesting uh, to watch this uh, roll out. Uh, the Heritage Foundation has become, if I can use the term, more MAGA since uh, the Trump administration. They are the number one conservative think tank. They built the Reagan administration, and now they become all MAGA. And now they've got poor old Harry in their sights as a way to fight, actually, the Homeland Security uh, Department. Uh, because parts of the Republican Party want to impeach the head of the home, of Homeland Security. So Harry's in the middle of all of this. And I think, and you know, as far as now saying that all of America wants to know is drug records, really? Mm -hmm. So um, I hopefully, for Harry's sake, that everything is sort of lined up as it should be, but I support the deal, the uh, Department of Homeland Security's refusal to unseal the records because they don't do that. This is always at the discretion of the Immigration mm. Department, the Immigration Officer, and so it's going to be an interesting battle. We'll come back to Niall to get his response to uh, your suggestions there uh, of how this is all being used, but let's come out to Di, because you're a former head of Royal Protection, and let's just talk about if, if Harry, uh, you know, the drug use is there, and if he does lose his US sort of residency right, should he come back to the UK? Well, it's an interesting dilemma. Uh, whether he wants to come back, I don't know. I suspect he doesn't, uh, given all the furah that's going on. And of course, he's in court himself next week, which will be a very interesting scenario to see him actually in the witness box. One of the first royals, other than his great, great, great uh, grandfather, actually going into a witness box. So it'll be very interesting. 
My perspective is, is that he's a household name, both here and America, and if he admits to taking cocaine and other drugs, he's at the end of a criminal organization who thrive, unfortunately, on those who want to take drugs in this country and indeed in America. It's an epidemic. So for him to come out, in my view, foolishly, to actually articulate the fact that he's been taking it, not once, but not twice, but on a regular basis, I think is extremely foolish. And again, I, I wondered who counseled him. That was a sensible thing to do. Does seem um, to, so it does seem does seem Dyke, that there is a bit of a lack of counsel there. Look, I'm really sorry we are just so, so close out of time. I want to give Niall just opportunity to uh, say, is what Bonnie's saying true about your uh, motivations? Well, it was great, great to listen to Bonnie and Di, but I have to disagree with, with Bonnie's comments there. You know, Prince Harry is not some sort of uh, hostage here. Um, you know, Prince Harry is, is a huge public figure in his, in his own right. Uh, I think there's a clear public interest here. Um, and uh, and I, I do think that uh, as well, the Biden administration uh, needs to operate in a, in a transparent and constructive uh, manner. Well, if Prince Harry has nothing to hide here, he should fully support the release of his own records. Many immigration records have been released. Uh, in fact, Kamala Harris's mother's immigration uh, records were, were released. So many uh, uh, individuals... What we will see if the Biden administration do play ball, I'm really sorry to cut you off, we are fresh out of time.